is still a monumental undertaking. After Maria, a deadly Category 5 hurricane tore through that island, many people are still trapped, waiting for rescue crews to clear debris from the roads. A woman who survived the storm just made it to Central Texas after being stuck there for two weeks. She and her husband lived in Utuado, and about an hour and a half southwest of South Juan is where that is. KXAN's Lauren Kravitz spoke to the woman about how she escaped and made it to her family in Leander. The bridge to get to town, hidden beneath floodwaters. Now that's before the roof went. Trapping Luz Huertas Martinez and her husband in their home with no electricity. Our worry was communicating with our family. Her son and Leander anxiously waited to hear whether his mother was alive. I'm not hearing from her for so long. It, it, it really got to me. Um, I just, I wasn't able to, excuse me. It was, it was, Getting to a point where I was constantly on social media trying to do whatever I could to um, just find out anything. It was five days later that he learned his mother was okay. Next, it was a matter of making it to her son after floodwaters receded. We packed up bags and we made the trek. We crossed the river at the best site. Luz is one of the lucky ones who made it out. Most of the roads in Eduardo are full of debris. There are there's so many people that can't get out because there's no way to drive out. Elderly people that can't walk out. Rescue crews are making progress, but Luz knows it will take months to rebuild and weeks before she makes it back home. It's actually, from the porch. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. Luz says she just started seeing rescue crews clearing debris yesterday, trying to make it farther inland, but she says her town has seen little help. The Trump administration has been criticized for the response to Puerto Rico, which led us to look into how much help they've received. A New York Times article reports FEMA has installed 22 generators at hospitals and nursing homes. The Army Corps of Engineers is figuring out where to install 100 more, and 300 others are on the way. About $28 million in aid has been approved for cities to use for things like debris removal. About 11 aid centers have been set up by Puerto Rico's governor to distribute food and water. FEMA officials say they are having more trouble in Puerto Rico because most of the roads were damaged or destroyed, but roads were still passable in areas hit by Harvey and Irma.